Hi, doing my first Treehouse beer review on the channel. Um, Bright is the one we're tasting. I have tasted Treehouse beers before, and I actually shared some of this a couple days ago with someone, but I thought I'd take a closer look at examining this beautiful beer. It's a double, they call it double IPA. It's 7.8%, so right on the edge. And it's basically single hop with mosaic. They say it's made to just hop or um, present mosaic hops by itself in a beautiful way. And it's a little bit different from the other IPAs. I notice it's not quite as turbid and yeasty as their other beers, and but it was still very good. And it wasn't quite as like perhaps dank, they describe as dank. Um, but I don't think it was quite that dank when I had it before. So let's give it a try. It was canned six days ago. And it looks pretty beautiful. I mean, I kind of rolled the can a little bit to get some of the yeast in there. So it's, it's a very subtle translation. You can sort of see my finger through there. But it's not as completely opaque as a lot of the other Treehouse beers. It has a beautiful, soapy, frothy, thick head. Mm. And a very, very sweet, bright, as they call the beer flavor. Um, they say, like, grapefruit, red berries, and stuff like that, but... It has that, but with a lot of mosaic hopped beers, I get a lot of pineapple peach, that tropical um, thing going on, with just a touch of that green onion that I get a lot in mosaic beers, but not that much. They really focus this in on the soft fruitiness. And there's a little bit of a Chalkies kind of Smarties finish that I also noticed from a lot of mosaic mosaic um, hopped beers. It almost reminds me of a, the tropical Bretonomyces. Uh, finish and flavors. Yeah, and very juicy, lots of pineapple juice and like orange juicy sort of things happening too, but it almost, yeah, it reminds me of the smell of uh, that passion fruit wit beer from Avery, where they actually use lots of passion fruit juice in it. It has that really juicy, almost tart smell to it, even though it's not going to actually be tart like the beers with actual passion fruit puree. And it's holding the head really nice. Got some good lacing already. I haven't even taken a sip. Mm. Very light bodied. Not too bitter. It's a little bit of sweetness. But it's very nice. It's It doesn't have the kind of rich, silky, smooth body. Um, that I noticed that Sap had last night. There are other, other IP that I think is a little bit more in their traditional style. Mm. That really light bodied. And nectary, juicy. But I can see how it's um, a little bit less in your face with bitterness and dankness and body in this beer. It's very, very pleasant. Um, I actually shared a little bit of this with one of my friends who was like, ah, I'm tired of IPAs. Um, and he liked this a lot. He was like, yes, it's not very bitter. And I think he was confused. He actually was like, said, is this a sour? Because it smells so much like some tart juice. Mm. But the, f the finish is a little bit astringent. And I think that's what comes with using a super clean American ale yeast like they do in this one. Whereas I think maybe they imply that their other beers use a different yeast. And I've heard that a lot of these juicy, hazy New England IPAs use, use a little bit more of an expressive yeast, like English ale yeast. Um, but they don't brew it in a way that makes it diacetyl or anything. Um, at least they try not to. And... This beer isn't like that. It's it's a little bit more like a traditional IPA, even though it's still pretty hazy. Um, with a more stringent, bitter finish rather than that luscious, um, 
juicy, dank finish. Oh, the aroma is just so full of fruity esters. It almost has the intense fruitiness of a of a Hefeweizen or something like that, and also a one of the fruitier Brettanomyces <coughs> uh, fermented beers. Uh, but it all is just from the glory, glorious mosaic hop. Mm. Yeah, the hop is pretty intense, but it doesn't have layers and layers of salad and fruit and resin and spice as much. It's got a little bit of a slight back black peppery spice, but this is just totally fruit forward, a hoppy beer, I'd say. And it's really nice, and they, they do a great job of it. It's up there with their other uh, more treehouse um, signature dank hoppy beers. And I don't get too much onion in this one. It's not quite as much of a salad, especially um, when I've had the substance from Bissell Brothers. That one is just so green. Um, so dank, so many just kind of vegetables happening. With this one, it's it's really, they've done a good job just letting the fruit come out. I'm not even getting any, any kind of s smoke sort of a thing happening like I might with other mosaic beers. That's very nice. Let's pour in just a little bit more and see if anything exciting happens. But I think I'm going to give this one probably like an 87 or something like that. It's it's pretty comparable in some ways to Foundation Epiphany, except that one uses a larger combination of hops, I think. <clears throat> but they're a little bit similar. Foundation Epiphany might be a little more grapefruity. Well, this has has a great fruit, but it's com combined with uh, yeah some a little bit of a uh, red grape purple flavor, but mostly I would say is, is the tropical peach and pineapple. That's what wins it out. Uh, so we'll say 87 for the Treehouse Bright. Very good.